Jorge Ariel Benavidez is probably going to go down as one of the most nastiest, disturbing people that I talk about on my channel in quite some time. And trust and believe I've talked about quite a few of them. I know I say that often, but like I said, the stories just continue to get worse and worse and worse. So this guy is a pastor out of Texas who did a very heinous act against someone who was not in the right state of mind to defend themselves. This person violated a special needs woman on the church property in which he's the pastor at and then threatened to have her thrown into a mental institution. I'm guessing or assuming if she told anybody about what he did, that's the power he felt he had over her because he's like, oh, no one's going to believe a person with special needs that this happened to them. And all I can all I have to say is that they probably had a mental breakdown in there just imagining things. But apparently it doesn't sound like his little plan worked out as he thought it would, at least the part about her having mis mentally institutionalized. A 58 year old pastor in Texas was arrested last week for allegedly violating a woman with special needs. Authorities in Webb County took Jorge Ario Benavidez into custody on Monday, September 12th, and charged him with one count of aggravated sexual assault of an elderly or disabled person, a Class A felony online records reviewed by Law & Crime Show. According to a probable cause affidavit obtained by the Laredo Morning Times, deputies with the Webb County Sheriff's Office at approximately 4.30 p.m. on March 2nd responded to a call about a sexual assault victim at a home located in South Laredo, Santa Rita, neighborhood upon arriving at the scene first responders made contact with a woman who reportedly told them that benavidez sexually assaulted her several weeks earlier in an interview with investigators the alleged victim reportedly said that benavidez picked her up from her home at approximately 9 p.m on february 1st the woman whose age was not reported believed that he and benavidez were heading to a ranch in las lomas where the pastor was supposed to quote unquote, show her some paperwork having to do with him adopting her, the Morning Times reported. Benavidez also reportedly led, to, led her to believe that he would be paying her back an undisclosed amount of money he previously borrowed. However, when the pair arrived at the ranch, Benavidez allegedly said they were going to just chill and began removing his clothing. Benavidez then directed her into a room and ordered her to disrobe. She did as she was told because she was afraid of the pastor. Benavides then allegedly sexually assaulted the victim, who says she did not fight back out of fear of what Benavides would do to her. When asked by, when asked by she feared Benavides, the victim claimed that he had threatened her multiple times against telling anyone, reportedly saying that she would be placed in a mental institution with the state because she is a consumer and no one would believe that a priest had violated her. The victim claimed that Benavides violated her a second time that evening during which he reportedly pulled her hair and told her he was in love with her. He then directed her to put her clothes back on and wait for him in his truck. The victim then stated that when she was going into the truck, the suspect Benavides advised the victim to pray because she was going to hell for the sin she had committed. Wait a minute. Hold on. This guy violated this woman and then he had the nerve to tell her to go pray because she's going to go to hell for the sin she committed. This guy's off the damn chain. What what exactly was in that 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 chalice that he was drinking out of? Because I'm convinced it wasn't grape juice. It had to be something else up in there for him to actually come to that conclusion. Like, I was not expecting him to say that. Like, he said, you're going to go to hell for the sin you committed. But he was the one that violated her not once but twice but see she's special needs so he could plant a lot of things in her head to make it seem like she's in the wrong when clearly she's the victim in a march 23rd interview with sheriff's office investigators the victim reportedly provided another statement about the events that transpired at the ranch as well as physical descriptions of the residents at and Benavides bodily characteristics. After confirming a vehicle was parked at the ranch on the night of the alleged assaults, authorities interviewed Benavides, who reportedly claimed that the Iglesia Cristiana Casa de Rios Church, where he was a pastor, had gone defunct because the contract on the building used as its primary location had expired.
The ranch was reportedly a recreational property belonging to the church. He then reportedly provided details on his relationship with the victim, saying that he, his recently deceased wife, wife was the victim's foster mother. He also denied ever having sex with her. Suspect Benavides stated that the victim would consider him and his late wife her spiritual parents. Sus the, uh, Benavides continued to say that the victim's life was on the wrong path and that the, and Benavides and his late wife changed that the affidavit reportedly states Benavides allegedly said that he became the victim's caretaker after his wife's July 2nd passing and that she threatened to start making accusations against him if he did not allow her to indulge her allow her to indulge her desire to be with other men according to the report investigators then spoke to a woman reportedly identified in the affidavit as being the victim's foster mother the foster mothers reportedly told investigators that on the night of the incident the victim came home with a sad demeanor and asked her foster mother to check her down there because she had sexual intercourse aggressively, which hurt her, the affidavit reportedly states. A SAN exam or a sexual assault nurse examiner resulted in a DNA sample being collected from the victim. That sample was reportedly confirmed as matching DNA voluntarily provided to investigators by Benavides. However, an investigator with Adult Protective Services and a representative of the victim's foster care agency both reportedly contacted the sheriff's office about the victim. The former reportedly claimed that the victim had a quote-unquote tendency of making outcries if she does not have it her way, while the latter said the victim had attention-seeking tendencies that could cause her to make false allegations if she does not get her way. The foster mother also reportedly told investigators that the victim tends to contact men for intercourse and often does not make the right decisions. Online records show that Benavidez posted a $100,000 bond and was released from detention on Thursday. It's a lot going on with this story right here. Like this guy literally, it's like he has everything that could go on his side or work on in his favor. He did and committed this act to this to this young lady multiple times. Says she's going to hell for the sin that she committed, but now they're trying to say that she is apparently this promiscuous individual like they're literally trying to make it seem like this guy should get a pass because of what he did to her because allegedly she's promiscuous with all these other guys that's just really all alleged and keep in mind she's special needs so they're going to play off of that let's just hypothetically say that she was with all these other guys like they say or claim that she is that still doesn't give this guy the right to violate her the way that he did and that's the seed that he planted in his own head. Oh, if she's promiscuous with all these other guys, then I'm going to have my way with her too. And it's not going to really matter because who's going to believe her? Because in his eyes, she's nothing more than a Jezebel. And I'm using the biblical term instead of what he would probably call her. It just sounds to me like she's just in an all around bad situation. Like she's not, it doesn't sound like to me she's in the good care of this guy or this foster mother, because it doesn't look like she's on her side either. Like, she's just stuck. But they say he posted the $100,000 bond, I'm guessing, at 10%. That had to be $10,000. But that, yeah, it's something not, it's something completely off about this dude. Like, for real, for real. I'm still stuck on the part where he said that she committed a sin and that she was going to hell. Even though he was the one that did the violation. I guess in his eyes doing what he did is not considered a sin. I'm guessing he's stuck in Roman times or those medieval periods, like in the game of Thrones or something like that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this story down in the comments. Do y'all think that this guy, do you think that this woman, the, how can I put it? It's really no way I can't put it. The, it's the guy's a sick guy. He's a sick individual. He's a sick individual. I was getting ready to say something and put my foot in my mouth, but now I can't even do it. Y'all just let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you're new, hit that bell to be notified. If the bell for some reason is not working, you can go ahead and hit the notify me button on the bottom left or bottom right of the thumbnail as I do upload the videos in a premiere style format. You should receive the notification that way. The links will be down in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.